Hey there, what's up everybody? Welcome to my channel on do-it-yourself home projects and home product reviews that are real, trying to save you all time and money out there. In this video, we're gonna be installing this curtain wire set. I will put a link in the description below if you're interested in hanging out photos or a curtain. This is the context and the situation in which we are gonna be uh, working today. We have a walk-in closet that's gonna be converted into an office, a home office. I'll, uh, I actually made another video on how to do that and if you're interested in that setup. But basically, I have to install this backdrop here because I don't want uh, on Zoom calls and whatnot, everybody to see our hanging clothes in the background. So this is the kit right out of the package. Um, it comes with obviously a wire, these little brackets here, and then a couple of other little pieces, a little Allen wrench, some wall anchors, and these little pieces here, two stoppers, and two adjusters, and you'll see what I mean here in a minute. But let's go ahead and take a look at the closet. So the first step we wanna do is identify where we want to hang the wire. Now I want to put it here basically and here on this wall, um, allowing the curtain to close right over the clothes themselves without actually touching them. So uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is take these little bracket pieces and unscrew them. They come kind of attached and so pretty simple here. We're gonna take those off and the bracket head you can see right here, we'll put that to the side. They are threaded with a little hole in the end. We'll see how that works later. And then these are the little bracket pieces. Now, uh, these bracket pieces can be turned 90 degrees or they can be straight. Uh, so what we're gonna do first is take these little screws and uh, put them in the ends of the brackets as shown here. And we're gonna get a drill bit out just smaller than the width of the screw. You want it to bite into something uh, when you turn it, uh, but you don't obviously want it to be too small where you're gonna be cranking on it really hard. Now, if you're putting directly into drywall, you're gonna wanna use those drywall anchors that are provided. I don't recommend doing that because there's a lot of tension here when you tighten these things up. I highly recommend putting it into uh, a stud directly, and that's what I'm doing here. So I don't need those little plastic wall anchors. I'm gonna be just twisting this piece, the bracket, into the wall uh, directly, into the stud directly. Obviously, it's gotta penetrate the drywall first, and then after that, it'll be a lot harder to turn as it goes through that wood. It's important, of course, as I mentioned, to pre-drill that. So once that's on, the bracket head's on, we're gonna take the uh, wire, any end of the wire is fine, and we're gonna put it through the bracket head, as you can see, make sure you get it through the right way there. And then we'll take these little uh, adjusters. There's two screws uh, and you can loosen those and tighten those with the provided Allen wrench. And we'll slide that on. I'll note how much slack I put at the end of this. Uh, we'll put, we'll kind of leave about this much in and then we'll tighten those screws, both of them really tightly. Don't strip them obviously, but you wanna get those as tight as possible, okay? And just like this, we'll screw uh, the bracket head into the bracket that we just installed on the wall, uh, into the stud there, and we'll put it, we'll, we'll kind of put it on there lightly. We don't need to tighten it down all the way yet. Next up, we're gonna adjust our, and cut our uh, cable. Now you'll see here, the first time I did this, I struggled with a variety of cable cutting tools that I have. Basically, my tools aren't sharp enough. So uh, I will show you what, this little piece worked really well, this little wire cutters here. Make sure it's sharp. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything massive, but uh, you want to do a test cut first. Don't uh, do this where you actually want to cut. Do a test cut first to make sure that your cutting tool works appropriately. And then we'll measure, obviously, and get uh, the coordinates directly on the other side of the wall so it's not crooked or you know not parallel to the ceiling. And then we'll do the same thing that we did with that first bracket. We will install the second bracket. And you can see here you can twist and turn the piece like this to get a little more leverage. And then, as I mentioned earlier, you can put this 90 degrees or straight in our situation. We're going to be putting it straight. So you can tighten that up and make sure that bracket is straight, just like that. And we're going to be measuring our cable and cutting that to length here. So don't undercut. It's, it's better to overcut in case you you know, mess up that measurement. But basically cutting from you know, wall to wall will give you enough slack. And then we'll put the bracket head, the wire through the bracket head, just like we did in that first, uh, that with that first bracket there, and then put the adjuster on and tighten that up. And we'll screw that bracket head onto the bracket again, just like we did in 
with the left one, with the first one, okay? So easy enough. Now, inevitably, you're gonna have, well, you can go ahead and tighten those down a little bit, but even with them fully tightened down and the, atten the tension adjusted, you may have a little bit of slack still. And obviously you want that baby taut and tight. So if that's the case, then you need to met, uh, move your adjuster. So take unscrew that one side of your uh, cable and you're gonna move your adjuster down a little bit, okay? Well, so we'll try that and see if that works. We'll screw that back on there. Again, make sure those two Allen wrench screws are really tight. You don't want that slipping at all. There will be some tension put on here. Okay, a little better here, and we'll go ahead and tighten up all sides. There we go. That's getting really tight, I like that. Still a little bit of play, and perfect. That's what I want right there. And now uh, these two little stoppers come if you wanna put uh, this on there and install it. There's an Allen wrench, you tighten it down, uh, and that basically prevents things from sliding to that point, right? So next up, I will have a bag of these. I'll, again, put a link in the description below for this specific bag or a similar bag, but basically it allows you to put those clips on and then you put the clips, adjust the clips to the uh, curtain. You can you know clip them on there just like that. And that is it, a really simple job, highly recommended and gets the job done if you're looking to hang a curtain uh, very tautly without any sag or anything like that. So hopefully this video has been helpful. For more videos, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for being with me.